Hey, what's up everybody? I just want to make a quick video about my experiences with the new Blackmagic firmware update 7.3. A fantastic update. I really like the new Generation 5 color science uh, and the new little legend that they've put for the false color. It's pretty great. I already used false color a lot, so I already knew what that meant, but it's really good for people who are just getting started with that. I may make a video in the future about how to use false color on this camera. I think that's probably fairly useful. I've had a couple of questions about that in the past, so make sure you subscribe if you want something like that in the future. Let me know in the comments. Uh, so my experiences with this firmware update uh, have been great so far, with one exception. Uh, when I first installed it, as usual, I use a Viltrox um, adapter to go from Micro Four Thirds to my Canon EF. Um, lenses and you know usually you can have the camera on and detach and retach the adapter and it will allow you to readjust the iris you know that happens pretty much with every update it kind of breaks that uh, Viltrox usually puts out an update um, apparently I haven't updated my Viltrox adapter in quite a while so um, I pulled it off of the camera and did an update um, and I updated to the latest version and no go I couldn't adjust the iris when I put it back on the camera no, even with the trick of trying to detach it and retach it uh, with it on. So I tried to downgrade. Uh, I tried all the different versions that Viltrox has on their website, the 3.3, um, you know, the 3.4, the and the 3.5. I must have had a really old version or something on my adapter because that allowed it to work, but none of the new ones do. So just a little warning if you happen to use the Viltrox uh, EF-M2 uh, adapter with your Blackmagic camera, the latest update will break it, and Viltrox has yet to put out an update to allow it to work. So um, I guess I'm just going to use my other Micro Four Thirds lenses for a little bit, uh, and maybe I'll roll back the software. We'll see what happens. So anyway, I hope this has been helpful for someone who is trying to find out what's going on and why they can't adjust the the iris of their um, their lenses anymore through the adapter. Uh, anyway, if you like this type of thing, make sure you subscribe and like, and uh, if you have any other questions about this, leave them in the comments. I'll try to get back to you. Thanks.